what's going on youtubers it's your boy lb and welcome back to my new tutorial video guys this video i'm gonna show you how i color grade this footage in adobe premiere pro i'm gonna show you how i color grade this video from scratch okay so as you see here in premiere pro i have some different clips but it is on the same location so and remember i'm in a workspace of editing so now i'm gonna jump in color workspace so you have to come here on this workspace and then you choose the color okay so and because i have some different clips okay because i have because i have more clips so that reason why i'm going to create an adjustment layer so i have to come here for this new item and then you click here for this adjustment layer and then you press ok and then you move this adjustment layer here on the top of the, this clip yeah this is where i'm going to color grade yes where i'm going to put my color grading so this is the settings the basic settings which i'm going to use okay and i have to open this basic correction first okay because i'm going to balance the light and i have to i have to increase this contrast yeah something like this okay and let me increase this shadow something like this okay even the highlight i, I can reduce some a little bit and the small exposure and let me increase this black something like this okay so i have to check both clips and let me see how it is going okay so yeah this is nice and then after i have to increase like small saturation yeah something like this okay and about the white balance maybe my white balance yes it's looking good if your white balance it has like some more blue you can increase into red if it has uh, some more red you can increase yes in blue color okay so about my white balance it is good so now let me close this basic correction and let me open up this creative about this creative and i have to increase these vibrance okay vibrance works like saturation okay and let me increase this sharpness yeah about sharpness i, I just want to see if my sharpness the sharpness which i want it is enough okay so when you increase the sharpness like this now you see how your clip it is okay so about this sharpness it is okay so let me come back here and i'm going to close this creative and let me open up these curves okay so about these curves i just want to increase like another contrast okay so i have to click here between those between this line and then i have to move down increase like yeah another export yes to increase like uh a contrast all right okay yeah this is this is nice okay so this is before and then this is after so and i'm going to add some colors okay and i have to move down on this hover sat guys this hover sat it helps you to increase all just to increase the saturation of any color okay for example i'm going to choose this blue okay i'm going to increase the, the the saturation of this blue color okay and i have to choose the blue color yes you have to select where the blue color is started and where it's ended yeah this is the blue ideas i just i just choose the blue and the cans together okay if you just want to choose the blue either you can use this icon where you just you click it and then you click on any color you want you see guys directory you get the three points okay but me i choose yes both of this color and then i can increase like the saturation guys you see guys the saturation is increased yeah let me increase this saturation yes this is enough and about this grace this is enough for this grace i cannot increase the saturation of this grace and then let me come back here for this hoovers who yes this hoovers who helps you to change the color from one color to another for example if i just want to change this blue color into red into green into any color i want okay so first let me change this grace okay i have to select this grace where it is starting and where it's end 
guys you see guys i select the yellow also yes i select the yellow because in the grace there is some yellow colors okay so when i increase something like this guys you see there is something change okay the all grace is changed okay so let me yeah let me use this red one okay it's a yellow okay yellow grass yeah something like this okay let me choose the yellow like this okay and so and i'm going to change this blue one okay in let me change this blue just a few little bit i can change this blue yes in this way okay you see guys uh i mix with this blue and green okay maybe this is looks more uh, cinematic okay so that was before and that was after this is looking nice and then guys yo yes that was before and this is after so and let me come here for this hoover sluma this hoover sluma is gonna help me to like to thick the color yes into yes the into the place yes. let me call it like this okay for example when i just want to give this blue color yes i have let me select this blue color something like this and then when i move down you see guys it gives like my, my color into yeah thick yes yeah, strong yeah let me call it like strong okay and then even this blue one even this green one okay so let me choose this green one yes yeah it gives me yes like thick all all strong one all right all right okay so yeah that was before you see guys it looks like simple it looks like a thin but when i in a body's hover sluma you see guys how the color is looking it's looking good okay and then here let me increase up here yeah, to give more saturation yeah you see guys how my clip is looking about this second one guys you see how it is changed but this second one also i will give like a, 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 a bright because it becomes into black somehow okay it has not enough light so let me just finish this clip okay and then after this let me close these curves and i'm going to working on skin tone okay so i have to open up this head seal secondary because i'm going to make this skin tone i have to click lead okay because skin tone it has lead yellow and orange you know guys i have to select this red one and then after clicking this red one i have to come here to enable this color gray okay guys when you see the skin tone is already selected but i have to select it well as possible yes i just want to select this skin tone all right something like this because guys you see here in the grass also it is already selected because it has the same color with this skin tone the reason why it is selected okay and then after selecting your skin tone something like this even this guy who is in the car so i have to increase this blurriness in order to sharp in order to smooth yeah between where the skin tone and other colors is separated okay for example let me try to zoom like this guys for this lady when you see these edges when i increase this blue you see guys what i get okay so now let me come back here for the feet and then here i can increase like temperature in order to give them the best skin tone okay so i like to give the skin tone which looks like this guys you see either if it is more red you can come back here for the you can come here for the yellow if it is more yellow you can just go here above uh between lead and yellow yes in the center in the orange all right yeah something like this okay guys when you see this is looks nice and i can give it them more light as possible okay guys you see how my color it is looking guys when you see about this grace when you don't like this grace okay just you came here for this curve okay you can change your glass in any color you want you see guys when i change this grass it is already 
chance directory okay so even you bring down okay you keep moving down you see guys how your grace it is changing okay but i have to give it them in this color because <laughs> i don't know why the reason why i like this color here yeah. yeah this is looks nice okay and then guys about the white balance okay i can come back here for this basic correction if your white balance it is not enough guys you can come back here for this blue just a few little bit now you see guys how my clip it is looking wow this is looking nice okay and let me bring let me increase like a black okay the black one okay even the exposure it is over already to a 100 okay so and let me come here for this color wheels if i just want to increase the shadow or decrease you see guys i can just move down the shadow something like this okay even and highlight i can move it down just a little bit okay you see what i get guys now this clip it is looking nice guys for example you can have like more clips okay but when you shoot guys your clips for example it has not the same light okay for example even this one you see yeah it becomes too black somehow okay yeah that was before and this is after and then you just click on this original clip okay so and then you come here for this basic correction and then you can increase like shadow okay yeah something like this you can increase the shadow you see now the it becomes into life okay and uh, some exposure some something like this okay and then when you pray now you see guys your clip it is looking good okay and for example if for other one it has more exposure something like this and either you can just come here for this exposure you just click for this original clip okay these adjustment layer it's like uh, a basic color grading for whole clips okay and you just go for adjusting for one clip by one okay if one clip has more light you can just click on it and then decrease or increase light something like this so guys this is how you can create this cinematic color in premiere pro just for beginners okay and then you see guys i didn't use any light i didn't use any plugin just it's a premiere pro and then remember i use this s log footage okay so this is how you can create this cinematic color in premiere pro guys if you like my video please don't forget to make subscribe uh drop the comment down below i just want to know what you think like share and edc so see you in next video peace